Acronyms are common occurrences for companies and organizations throughout the world. Some are far more recognizable than others. We have the CIA, the MLB, the NBA, UPS, but none are more recognizable than either the NFL or the FBI. But what could possibly be related between the National Football League and the Federal Bureau of Investigation? Well, one man, Charles Anthony Tillman, affectionately known as Peanut, with fans and family. Tillman was born in Chicago, Illinois, but spent much of his childhood on the move. His father was a sergeant in the U.S. Army and was stationed as far away as Germany at times. He would attend 11 different schools in his youth, and luckily would find himself stateside when it came to attend high school. He attended Cooperus Cove High School in Cooperus Cove, Texas, and there participated on the football team. He played wide receiver and earned two All-District 8-5A and All-Area selections, and was named an All-District 5A Honorable Mention by Austin American Statement, while also being named to the Super Centex team. After high school, he chose to attend the University of Louisiana at Lafayette. During his freshman season with the Raging Cajuns, Tillman would make a career-altering decision, changing from his high school position of wide receiver to cornerback. With the change, he would be named the starting left corner for the 1999 season. Though the Raging Cajun would never be good during his time there, it would not stop him from having an incredibly solid career. During their 2-9 1999 season, Tillman would rack up 52 unassisted tackles, recover 3 fumbles, fourth one, and break up six passes. In his 1-10 sophomore season, he would see improvements in all defensive categories, collecting 48 solo tackles, two sacks, recovering a fumble, causing three, intercepting six passes, and breaking up nine more. In his junior year, the team finished 3-8, but he saw a decline across the board statistically, recording only 17 solo tackles, four interceptions, and eight pass breakups. In his senior season, the Raging Cajuns finished 3-9, and, and Tillman tallied up 63 unassisted tackles, 2 fumble recoveries, 3 forced fumbles, 2 interceptions, 8 pass breakups, and even 3 blocked kicks. Tillman's personal collegiate performance garnered him an invitation to the Combine. At the Combine, he recorded a 4-4-9 40-yard dash, a 40-inch vertical jump, a 10-foot 11-inch broad jump, a 3-8-9 shuttle run, a 7-0-5 three-cone drill, and he even recorded 12 reps in the bench press. This showcase at the Combine, as well as his collegiate career, ranked him the sixth corner in the 2003 NFL Draft, and led to him being selected by the Chicago Bears in the second round with the 35th overall pick. Tillman would become a starter pretty much right away, playing in all 16 games in the 2003 season, starting 13. Over the season, he racked up 76 tackles, one sack, four interceptions, 12 pass breakups, and two fourth fumbles. For the exemplification of courage, loyalty, teamwork, dedication, and sense of humor during the season, he was a rookie representative of the Brian Piccolo Award. Unfortunately, his second year in the league was cut short due to injury, and he was only able to tally up 32 tackles, one fourth fumble, one recovery, and five pass breakups. In 2005, he bounced back right away, though, starting and playing in 15 games, racking up 82 tackles, a sack, four fourth fumbles, five interceptions, and 16 pass breakups. 2006 would be another solid year for Tillman, and it would be an even greater one for the Bears, as they advanced all the way to Super Bowl 41 before falling to the Indianapolis Colts 29-17. He would, however, have one of the plays of the game, as he forced Colts tight end Brian Fletcher to fumble in the second quarter as they were in Bears territory. During the five seasons from 2006 to 2010, Tillman collected 351 tackles, 18 interceptions, 65 pass deflections, and 19 fourth fumbles. He would also obtain his second Brian Piccolo Award after the 2008 season. In 2011, he received his first national recognition, being elected to his first Pro Bowl. During that season, he racked up 82 tackles, 3 interceptions, 12 pass breakups, and 3 forced fumbles. One might have noticed that Tillman has racked up an inordinately large number of forced fumbles at this point in his career. Well, this is because of his unique tackling style, where he would attempt to bat the ball out of the carrier's hand at the time he tackled them. This style would be known as the peanut punch and would never be more evident than during the 2012 season. During that season, he would force a career-high 10 fumbles, record 74 tackles, intercept 3 passes, and break up 16 more, on his way to his second Pro Bowl and first and only All-Pro selection. His 2013 season would unfortunately be cut short due to injury after playing in 8 games. He would still, however, collect 32 tackles, 3 interceptions, 7 pass deflections, and 4 3 fumbles. After the season, he would be awarded the third Brian Piccolo Award, as well as being the second Chicago Bear to win the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award since its renaming in 1999, and the first dual winner of the awards.
He would sign a one-year deal to play with the Chicago Bears in 2014, but his season would once again be cut short due to injury, this time after only two games, where he managed to record eight tackles and one pass deflection. In 2015, he'd play for a team other than the Chicago Bears for the first time in his career, starting with the Carolina Panthers. He'd play 12 games for them and was a solid performer, collecting 36 tackles, 2 interceptions, 7 pass breakups, and forced 2 fumbles, prior to tearing his ACL in the season finale, knocking him out for the playoffs. His Panthers, however, advanced to Super Bowl 50, but fell to the Denver Broncos 24-10, and he would choose to step away from the game the following offseason, signing a one-day contract to retire as a member of the Chicago Bears. Throughout his career, Tillman always expressed an interest in working for law enforcement, and even spent off-seasons training with them. And in September 2017, it was reported by the Chicago Tribune that his interest might be becoming a reality, as he was training with federal agents at the FBI Training Academy in Quantico, Virginia and it was later found out that he was in fact trying to join the agency, as he was 36 and this was the final year the agency would allow you to join. And on February 22nd, 2018, a day before his 37th birthday, he would receive his qualifications to join the FBI, a position he obviously still holds less than a year removed from his qualification. Howdy y'all, Jackson here with Ick Jerk Studios, and I hope you enjoyed that episode of Football History. And if you did, please consider leaving a like, and if you have a player, coach, or event you would like to see me do a video on, please leave it in the comment section below. And if you are new here, and like the content, please hit that subscription button, and feel free to look around at other videos in my catalog. Bye!